So for today's adventure day, we've got one hour to complete triathlon within five kilometers of my house. It involves a 300 meter swim in the Ovens River, a 350 meter run back to my house. There's a 10 kilometer bike loop around my block, and then there's a three kilometer run to finish. I've just got down to the river. Um, it is pretty chilly air temperature wise, but I know the water's gonna be absolutely freezing. It's 20 past three, so I've got one hour 20 past four to be done with the triathlon and back at my house. Man. Oh, fuck. Ice cream headache. Oh. I don't know if a wetsuit would have helped. I can feel it behind my eyeballs. The current's pretty strong. I got one last little swimming section and then I can spin around. Oh, it's a free ride back. That was pretty high that last bit. So against the current. I have an epic brain freeze still since I got in. The back of my head is like throbbing. Oh, I'll warm up on this one. My ears are ringing. That was fresh. Woo! It's been a while since I've done a trap run. Just coasting down the hill. I've warmed up now. We live in such a beautiful place, so grateful. It's been so long since I've done something like this and pushed myself against the clock. There's something that feels really good about challenging yourself and really trying to push yourself. The clock's a really good indicator of progress. I'm actually looking forward to trying this again and, uh, and seeing if I can do it a little bit faster. So I'm about two thirds of the way through my ride. Really nice to be outside. Feels good to get the heart rate up and push myself a little bit as well. I'm just ridden through Paul Punka. It's so quiet everywhere. Everyone's obviously wearing masks. You kind of forget about it a little bit when you get out and having a little adventure. Kind of takes your mind off it a little bit and it's not until you see people in masks that you go, oh yeah, everything's a little bit strange at the moment. I guess that kind of goes to show how important it is to be outside and in nature and how important exercise is for your mental health. You can take your mind off things and even if it's an hour a day, yeah, it can make a big difference. Just started the run. I've got about 15 minutes to get three k's done to get back in under the hour gotta work kind of hard here because most of the runs uphill definitely starting to feel the legs a bit more especially coming off the bike oh, this is hard to get my heart rate in a while i always thought that when things get hard it's an opportunity for you to simultaneously discover and create your character or the type of person that you are. They shape who we are. Usually the times that you push through, you make yourself proud. Uh, it's funny how 45 minutes ago, I was freezing cold in the river and now I'm starting to get really, really hot running up this hill, which is only a couple hundred meters from my house. We've got about four minutes to get home before an hour passes. And I'm not actually sure if this is the turn off I'm supposed to take. I haven't run this course before, I just put it out on Google Maps and uh, I didn't bring my phone. I'm gonna try to go through the bushes and hopefully I'll pop out somewhere. Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it back in time. So I really don't think that this is the way. I'm well and truly in the pine forest and I think I'm just following a deer trail, but um, as long as I head down, I should end up at my house. Oh, slippery. Woo. Woo. I almost just slipped down just then. I'm still well above my house. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back in an hour. I've got about two minutes to get back. I know it opens up at some stage. Oh, blackberries. If I can get down oh, without too much trouble. Man. Oh. Oh. If I can get down quickly, I'll make it back in time. Oh yes, another run! 
good. We've got about 70 seconds. I think this is the road that takes me back home. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Come on, Stan. All right, down climb. Fuck yeah, I think this is it. 45 seconds to get home. Yeah. Can't see my house. Oh, of course there's gonna be a car. Twenty seconds. Oh, five seconds. Three. Ah, oh, fuck. Two. One. Oh, time. A little bit of blood here and there. I think I got a bit of blood on my ass from those blackberries. I thought I would have had a couple of minutes to spare when I plotted out that route. But that came right down to the wire. 